Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I've just had a massive haul through the shop so I thought I'd uh, film it and give you a little look. I've bought a large collection of Ladroneo figurines, some jewellery and some taxidermy. So it's a really, really nice job lot. Now, the, everything in the video, as you're going to see it, owes me £235. Uh, which again is quite a bit of money uh, this is the same seller that sold me all the jewelry in my live video and all the character jugs and um, they're bringing more down again in the week so I'm gonna give you a little look we got quite a lot of these figurines to get through um, so hopefully you'll uh, you'll enjoy having a look at these now these are by Neo the dearer ones are by Ladro. However, nail figurines like this are still not cheap. And I'll show you some of the eBay prices in a few minutes. All the figures are perfect, and apparently they're not a fraction on the amount they got there. I bought, I think it's about 11 or 12 of them today. Um, and I think they got some like 50 to 100 lab drawn nail figurines. So it is what it is. And some of these are spectacular. Again, the stamps. We'll have a look in a few minutes at the sort of monies these are pulling on eBay. Oh, careful, they're very fragile, they're stinking dirty as per usual with the stock I normally buy in. I end up having to clean it all and wash it. I got other things other than Ladro, don't worry. It's not all Ladro. If it was, I'd just pan over a few. But um, some of these pieces are going to be good money. So, what we got so far? Two, four, we got six there already. You know, a 25 quid a piece, we're up um, 51, up 150 quid already back at 25 a piece. This one has lost, had a chip on the bird. That's disappointing. I'll go out to the car boot sale now. I'll, I'll still get a tenner, but I'll go out to the car boot sale. Oh, I may put it in the shop for a tenner with the chip on the tail. But then... It's balanced out by some of these others that are much larger and grander. Now I do know when they have like hats and flowers and things like that, it can increase the value. And of course the size helps, these are large figures, they're not all little dots. Safe to say, these will look beautiful on a shelf in the shop now when I do them on Monday. I'm shut tomorrow and I'm shut Saturday, so they'll be on Monday next. Then we have two that are Spanish porcelain, but not the Neo. Uh, Valencia. Sorry guys, uh, Valencia, there's the uh, stamp. They are still Spanish porcelain, but they're nowhere near as collectible as the Neo and Ladro. And I had two of that, it's factory. However, they'll still sell, you know, 10, 15 pound a piece. They'll still sell. I've had two pieces of Russian USSR. Two birds, there's the... Uh, Russian stamp there and again stamp on the back there they don't pull fortunes the USSR stuff did demand a decent money once but that's long long gone um, believe it or not today the jewellery isn't my star buy however I have a pair of large 9 karat gold loops which weigh over four grams on their own. 
I have a beautiful 18 karat gold ring set with a variety of stones. Fully hallmarked, I don't know if you can see it there. So that's a really nice ring. And again, it's nearly three grams of 18 karat. I had an Oddman odd earring. I wish it was a pay, pain in the ass. Hopefully you'll find the other one for me. So I won't do nothing with that until uh, the other one turns up or doesn't turn up. Then I had a silver necklace with a Chinese ivory figure. Come on now, camera, zoom in. Now, the difference between bone and ivory, with the ivory, you can see the sort of cross hatching inside where it's been cut. With bone, you'll have burst blood vessels. So that's ivory. I'm hoping the camera's picking it up for you guys. I really am. And it looks like a Chinese elder. So it's a really nice little thing. So obviously I got the silver chain, but then I've got this little Chinese figure in ivory to do some research on. I've had quite a bit of costume jewellery. Oh, before I get the costume, I've had another one of these off them, which is a solid silver sword brooch. Only a 925 brooch, but still solid silver nonetheless. Then I got a little bit of costume jewellery that I'll probably put out at the... well. I may create a little shelf in here to be honest with you and do like a costume jewellery five pound shelf where everything on there is a fiver because I had to see some beautiful costume jewellery on the boots and I don't buy it and I should do. So we've got a little train, a steam engine. This next one you're going to smile at. Shut your eyes quickly. In a second. And open them. It is a cowbell brooch with the cows. How cute is that? <laughs> Honest to God, I've never seen the likes of it before. A little cowbell brooch. Only costume jewellery, but you know what? What a bit of fun. So, I haven't decided yet. I may start doing, um, as I say, a shelf where everything's a fiver. And put costume jewellery on there. And you got a couple of teddy bears. In glass there. You know, it'd make a nice little addition to the shop. It'd be cheap. Uh, for people who can't afford the gold and silver, but still like some pretties. This is quite nice. Right, there's a porcelain plaque. I don't know who it's by, it's not signed. But it's on costume jewellery or base metal, so it's nothing special. It'd be on gold if it was anything real quality. But still quite nice as a pendant. Um, other than that, I think it was just some rubbish for the boot sale then. Um, bear with me a second. How does this bloody thing open? Ah, there we go. That's probably going to go to Shannon. Um, she can wear base metals, steels and things. So they're just decorative earrings. So that'll probably go to my daughter when I get home in a minute. And these, well, let's be honest with you, they probably get thrown out or chucked on the boot sale for 50p. A pair of earrings, very old fashioned, base metal, and just not worth anything to be honest with you. So, that's the majority of my buys. I got two left. Um, I was just going to say the star right them, but I just seen another one I missed. Bear with me a second. It's a little bit of French Majolica. Little egg basket, I think. Nice colour into it. And it is a signed one. And we'll do some research on that in a minute. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. There we go. So that came in as well. All in the same money, £235. And we'll have a look now how much I'm expecting to pull off the uh, haul after we do the research, of course. Now, 
The next piece is my star lot, but it's not going to go down very well. So if you're an animal lover, I'll apologise now and say you may want to turn off now. If, like me, you love animals, but things that have happened in the past are in the past and they're a bit of history, they don't warrant being destroyed, then stay tuned, because it is beautiful. It is a taxidermy owl. Now this is a Victorian one in a setting in a really nice frame. I haven't searched for makers marks and things like that yet. Um, but this is a boot. It's as good a taxidermy as I've had, I'll be honest with you. Absolutely stunning. It's a large piece. And I love this sort of gallery around the top of it. But they've, well, they've done an amazing job. And the owl is in such beautiful condition. I think it's a Tony owl. I'll we'll have to have a look in a minute. But uh, yeah, that is, well, in my opinion, it's a Victorian one. I wouldn't say it's 20th century. I'd say this is a Victorian one. And it is absolutely spectacular. I'll splice in some photos of these things at the end, guys. So you can have a better look at the end. Um, in fact, I'll splice in the photos now and then I'm going to add in the research. So you'll get to see the photos and then we'll do the research, see what the stuff's worth. But the owl, it's my star lot. Um, I added it in as £50 for the owl. So everything else then cost me £185. But I gave £50 for the owl. However, the last one like this I had, I think I sold for nearly £300. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea, it really isn't. And I know there's going to be people going, mm. would rather uh, see it buried than uh, on display. And that's absolutely fine. It's, everybody has their own preference. Um, I wouldn't condone stuff now, but at the same time, stuff that's happened 100 years ago or more, it is what it is. It's history, guys. So bear with me and we'll get some research done. Okay, so we're going to start off with taxidermy. These are sold listings for taxidermy on eBay. And to be honest with you, I didn't realise you could put taxidermy on eBay. So that was good. And these are all UK selling, so that's something. Uh, just giving you an idea of the prices. I'm looking now to get to some normal stuff. I don't want zebras and peacocks and things. Be quite rare. Right, so you have a hawk there, they sold for 800 740 for a hawk. Right, so you have a raven by there, 675 A fish, 620 Right, there's an owl, it's the first owl. £620 for a taxidermy grey owl. I didn't even realise you could put it on eBay. Obviously, this is top end of the scale, guys. I'm sure when you highest price first. 538 for some sparrow hawks. A falcon, 530. All these are sold prices, okay? There's another owl by there, or hawk, 600. 500 pound for a snow owl. Osprey in a case, 500. And there was me thinking taxidermy was no longer collectible at all. Oh, look at that. Pure white fox. Anyway, uh, moving along, I searched taxidermy owls. These are currently up for sale. There's an owl there, £365. There's another one there for £100 on a little shield. £150 in a case, but that's not a patch on where I got, and I haven't got the age. 
200 pound ballet in a case 165 pound out of a case and then we go to solds these are asking prices guys 600 on a stand 425 300 300 295 that's just giving you an idea anyway guys of the price of the taxidermies which was shocking to me i knew i'd get 100 150 for it in the shop but i didn't expect to get as much as they're showing now moving on i had another nice surprise i was searching this majolica uh this french majolica and some of it pulls stupid money on ebay and a little cow cream over there for 500 then I came across Bayer, if you bear with me a second. There, a little biscuit barrel that sold for £137 in the same style as what I got. Uh, there we go, same style as what I got. And I thought, oh, okay, so maybe I got a good £100 terrine there. So I thought I'm going to go online and I'm going to do some research online and I went to Google and I just done a search for the French Majolica and typed in the name. That's all I searched for. And I clicked on that one straight away which was the second one on the list and I thought I'll go to that page. And I went to the page and lo and behold what do I find? The exact one I have. French Majolica Turin. Look at the price. $825 Wow So That was a good buy Because I calculated that in at a fiver because I didn't know the name So I'm over the moon with that one guys Again another really good happy day now I'm going to show you some of the prices for the Neo. Now you, you've just seen I've got 11, 12 figurines, wherever it was. One with a little chip on the tail, but hey ho. I'm going to show you just some of the prices they pull in. Now I don't get these prices, and I'll show you now when we get lower down. These were just the high ends. I average about £30 a piece. £30, £40 a piece. Sorry about that guys. Just moving on, still showing you the Neo figurines. We haven't got down to the normal ones that I've got yet. The ballerina, oh there we are. The ballerinas and things. I'm gonna go to the bottom price in a minute just to show you the comparison on these figurines. They're not all good money like this. I tell you what I'm gonna do. It's dozens of pages. I'm gonna skip to page seven. And you'll see they're also down 20 quids. But some of the ones I've got are going to be up 30 to 50. And some of them are going to be 15 to 20. So if you average them out to 30 quid. I should pull about £300 give or take back for the nails. I've actually got that one there. £20. Okay, so looking at it now, taxidermy I'm going to put out for about 350 and I'm going to take 300 That's what I originally would have uh, sold one for uh, when I sold one before. And uh, looking at the prices online, if I ask 350 400 I'm going to achieve probably three. The French terrine, I'm going to go in at a couple of hundred pounds. So we're up to 500 pounds with it on those two. Now the, uh, the gold ring and gold earrings, they're 100 pounds easy, so they're 600 uh, and that's an easy hundred and then we probably got 300 in nails uh, so there's like 900 this little ivory Chinese figure is going to be another sort of 30 quid um, got a bit of costume jewellery some silver brooches some USSR pieces now I'm going to be up yet again guys another thousand pounds for a 235 pound outlay so yet again They've done me really proud, brought me in some beautiful things. I'm able to share these pieces with you. Um, and that French, uh, French Majolica, for one, was a name I haven't handled before. 
or if I had, I can't remember handling it. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't rate it that highly, purely because of what it was. It was just a Majolica terrine, you know. The Majolica stuff has really come down in um, modern times, but it still looks to be uh, to be a winner. The Neos, now I know I'm going to get three hundred pound, give or take. Some are going to be dearer, some are going to be cheaper. You know, 12, 11, 12, 13 nails, whatever they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 nails at 30 quid each. It's 330 quid. But some are going to be dearer, some are going to be cheaper. Um, it's just another spectacular buy-in day. It really is. I'm super proud, super happy. The shop really is paying off. Um, I'm selling well, I'm buying well. The turnover... The sheer volume of turnover is exactly what I'm after. So, but I tell you what, I love that taxidermy. If it don't sell, I don't mind keeping that one myself. It is stunning. Um, so, there we go, guys. That's another day. Another day, another dollar, as they say. Um, another day's buying done. Hopefully, uh, you've enjoyed having a look. Uh, with regards to the live video I done the other day showing all the jewellery I bought off this couple, um, I found the bar brooch. It was a little red case that I must have picked up and put aside when I was doing the filming and didn't even enter my head. The brooch was inside that. And... But yeah, uh, it's all good. And apparently they still haven't scratched the surface of what they got in their house and they're moving house in a month. So I can have another four, five, six visits. Um, so it's going to cost me another thousand or two uh, to finish emptying what they got probably, if I guess. But when they're selling... This type of quality, guys, bear with me. When they're selling that, and they're just chucking it in a box and saying, make me an offer on these, and taxidermy like that, and Ladro figurines. You know, Ladro Spanish porcelain is a top, top name that basically, um, you know, is known worldwide. So what more can I say? Really, really, really pleased. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look. I got the weekend's buying to go yet. <laughs> what can I say? Busy, 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 busy. I wouldn't have it any other way. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed and you've enjoyed seeing these pieces, I would really, really appreciate a like and a share. Um, please feel free to leave a comment as well. Right, you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page in the group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. Make sure you add the word clearance, guys. Um, I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and visit me in the shop. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.